Hello everybody, and welcome to Not A Cooking Show. Uh, today I'm going to be testing something that I always see on the internet that really makes me mad. Uh, as you may know, I hate, like, pseudoscience and especially ones that are dangerous, like medical advice ones. And there's this one that I always see where it's like, oh, if your child is sick, uh, just put a potato piece on the, like, in their sock against their foot at night and it'll draw all the toxins out because it, the potato goes black. And, um... Potato goes black because, you know, it oxidizes in the air. There actually is no, um, like, you can't, de you cannot detox your body. Anyways, so I'm gonna test it. I have my potato and my steak knife, which I use for everything because I'm not cultured, I don't know. And I have my petri dishes. So, first off, let's cut our potato. I'm gonna do two slices. I'm actually gonna do three. Um, but right here you're gonna see the two. Alright. And that one's gone. Oh, no, no, it's, it's in the tripod. Got it. All right. Since I touched that one, we'll make this one the control. So that goes in the control dish, which I'll then put that over. And this one, I'm going to handle. I'm just going to manhandle the crap out of it. Uh, I'm going to test to see if skin oils also affect it. But yeah, anyways, alright, so now I've pretty much oiled that, so i do that, close the lid, and I'm going to cut another one, and I'm going to leave it open air, just like, right there, just because, I want to make sure, hey, focus. Alright, so I'll leave this overnight, and we'll come back in the morning and see how everything looks. Alright, now it's been about, I think, six hours? Maybe five, it depends. I set this up at, like, midnight. Anyways, uh, you can already see quite a bit of, like, browning on, actually, all three of them. Uh, this one I left out mostly because I wanted to make sure that, I wanted to make sure that, um, you know, being covered up didn't affect it, which it doesn't seem to, so that is good. However, looking at it, uh, one thing I haven't accounted for is heat and movement. Because uh, like if, if you have it like you know, against your skin, it'll be warm. And since the browning is like an enzyme reaction to oxygen, I'm gonna assume that heat would increase it. Actually, it depends. Either way, I'm gonna put a, actually um, put this slice into a a warm like a bowl, a warmed bowl, like a heating pack, with a cloth over it to a. Uh, make it as warm for as long as possible, because I'm actually going to be going to sleep here, and I won't be able to do more time lapses, but I'm going to keep the camera and everything set up, so you can see that I'm not messing with it, and uh, we'll see how it looks uh, later this afternoon, so that'll be fun. Alright, it's been a day. Uh, my cat jumped onto the table, luckily didn't break anything. Oh, come on camera, for focus. Anyways, and uh, I put the other slice into a wrapped up thing with a heating pad. Um, so we're going to see if that affected it any. I don't think it will, because it's an enzyme reaction. But let's go uh, take a look at them. Alright, so, first off, our control potato. It's dried out, and it's brown. Hmm. And it's been sitting in glass, not touching anything for a day. I'm sure if I like abused it more and actually moved it around, it would probably darken more because you get more uh, surface area. But even just like being cut and not touching anything, it's browned. Uh, the one that I manhandled, there isn't much of a difference. Well, actually, there's a bit of a difference, but probably just like dirt uh, or just the oils in my hand doing something. But no, actually, there's a small, there's a small difference. No, actually, I'm kind of curious about this one. Oh yeah, look at that. See, you know, that was just sitting on paper towel, on plastic, in a bowl, and, uh... Speaking of the cat, there's Jimmy. Um, but yeah, um... That looks, that looks awful. 
But this is also what you always see in those, beep, go away, those infographs where it's like, you know, put a potato slice in your sock and it'll cure your cold and it turns black because of all the toxins it pulls out of your body. And it's like, well, this one was sitting, don't eat that. It's like this one was sitting in glass and it turned brown. This one was sitting on a heat pack in the open air, not touching anybody, and it turned even more brown. So it's pretty clear that uh, potatoes do not detox you because, well, first off, detoxing isn't real, but also um, the discoloration is due to like the enzyme reaction with oxygen. But whatever, not every people still will believe it. I saw some things where it's like, you know, detoxing potato soups, and they, 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 they look really good, but again, potatoes can't detox you. Nothing can detox you. Actually, that's not true. There is, there is one way you can detox your body. It's called having a liver and having kidneys. And there is one way to medically detox your body. It's called kidney dialysis. But, um, yeah, no, you can't do any of that at home. <laughs> it's all pseudoscience, but again, people uh, will push this stuff for monetary gain. And children frequently die because people uh, do crap like this instead of medical care. I'm sorry, but a potato will not save your child from meningitis. Anyways, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show, was that potatoes will turn brown and darken on their own because of just the air. It isn't, it has nothing to do with detoxing, so. But yeah, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I'll probably do some more videos like this, talking about other, like, crap science. Um, I wanted to actually do one about, like, those foot baths that detox your body, because uh, I can actually prove points with that using stuff I have lying around, so. And I would buy one, but I can't, I'm, I don't want to, like, I can't afford that, and I don't want to um, give them money, so. Like, unless someone wants to donate one to me, I can, like, show how it works, tear it apart, all that stuff, but no. Anyway, so thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed.